Hi, real quick video here, insanely quick demo to show you how to create an EPUB file in the open source software Calibri. It's 2025. We're going to go through this. I'm also going to show you within there how to embed your table of contents properly. So let's go. Hey, real quick, I just wanted to share who I am. My name's Corinne Kavanaugh, and I do a whole bunch of things. I do, I'm do. i a speaker, public speaker. I'm a published author, three-time published author, author, and in fact, I'm self-published. So it was a hard ramp learning all the things you need to do to self-publish, and this, was what, this one part was a little bit tricky. So that's why I'm making this video for you today. Okay, I'm not going to go through my whole background because I know you just want to get to that content real, real quick. But um, I have 20 years experience in marketing and I'm an educator and I'm a certified instructor. So I hope all of my experience wraps up to give you exactly what you need in this super quick video. Okay, as you know, there are a ton of steps to publishing your book. Uh, this is just one part of it. In fact, I've got a whole bunch of resources for that over on my website. But here I wanted to give you just in list order exactly what you need to do to format for ebook so you can see that on the screen upload your best word doc so make sure your novel or whatever is in its best shape best format um, edit your metadata convert it to ebook and edit the table of contents and then save it down to your computer so i will go to live demo mode now and show you how to do all that all right let's go first you take the word processed uh, document that you've done. You've got it as perfect as you can get it for paperback. And you need to do a couple things to that paperback until to get it ready for EPUB. Okay, so here we go. I've got my paperback here and you can see it looks normal, legit. You go to contents, it looks like this. Well, in an ebook, you know, the table of contents, it has these clickable links. How do you get that? How do you make sure that happens? Um, I'll show you. And then at the very end, you can see in my thank you section, I I am just like normal, right? I've got some normal text, nothing has links. This is what it looks like for paperback. So I did a save as, okay? And I have a new copy of my book and I'm, I'm gonna save it for EPUB. And you can see in my contents, just delete the table of contents. What the software does is it pulls all of your headings that you have that you've done throughout when making your book. So if I go here, this is a heading, okay? So this is a heading and it recognizes the headings and pulls them all out and it puts them here. And when it goes to make your table of contents, it zips them right in to this, uh, to, a, to an index. And you gotta make sure the index is in the right place. Okay, so now you've got your Word documents uh, ready uh, in your table of contents. At the very bottom, this thank you section, Go ahead and in the Word document, add your links. So, you know, highlight the text, right click, link it. Okay. I think where is this, the little link thing? You can always hit Control K to, to set up a link. Okay. You've got it there. This is what it should look like. Just a regular document. You've got it saved for EPUB now. So, uh, then I'll tell you what software to use and how to upload it and make sure your table contents is just right and then you'll be done. Okay, so that's, uh, let's go do that. Here we go. So you have your manuscript, and you saved it in Word, you click add book, upload it, and it comes right here. So this is what you see, you see it right here, but you'll notice there's not very much information. So you click edit metadata, and here is everything we worked on earlier. Okay, so you wanna um, make sure your title's correct, uh, if it's a series, you put that in, you put in your, you upload your new book cover that you just made and you put in here your tags. These are your categories. Okay. You put in your categories with commas in between um, and a couple of your keywords with commas in between and that's there and you update that and you hit okay. And when you hit okay, it looks something like this. Right, so you can see your cover, you can see all of your information here that you put, uh, and now uh, it's there. But when you first upload, you might notice that it only says formats, it only says docs. You have to make an EPUB file. And how you do that is you simply have it highlighted, have the right one highlighted, and you click um, Convert Books. And 
it automatically knows that you want to convert it to an EPUB. It's got up here in the top right, EPUB. Okay, that's this is it's doing it all for you. And if you updated your metadata correctly, which I didn't for this demo, you would see your correct information right here. Okay, you push OK. Once you push OK, you will have it there and uh, it will say running the job, running the job. When it's done, you'll notice you have both of those in the formats. You now have EPUB as a format, but how do you make sure it's correct? It doesn't do it exactly correct the first time. So right click on it and say edit book. Go to the edit book screen. It's opening up. I'm really showing you how to edit this in real time. So give it a sec. Okay. We've got it here. This is this is what it looks like. Make sure it's not trailing off the screen here. And um, when you look at this, you'll see your cover. If you double click this, you'll see the text and it will give you a file preview. All right, so you'll see it there. Uh, this is my copyright page. This is everything. Now we've got this contents page and it's blank and we got to make sure the table of contents goes in there. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, this um, is really cool. It actually automatically makes a table of contents for you. You just have to make sure. Um, so you can just do a double check before you insert it. You can look at this table of contents and it will show you, hey, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it there. So there we go. Okay. So you go back over to the split that has your word contents on it. Let's find it. Sorry, it's taking a sec. There it is. Okay, number three for me. It might be different for you. And you've got that there. And so now I want to go tools, table of concert contents, insert inline table of contents. So I need to make sure I've got it selected down past my header, right next to this P, this closed paragraph symbol. If you know basic HTML, this will be really easy. Otherwise, just trust me, pass this closed P symbol, and then tools, table of contents, insert inline table of contents. Boom, and it inserted my whole table of contents based on all of my headings, and it's done. Now, the other thing we wanna make sure looks right is the thank you page. So go to the end of your book, and here's the thank you page. And I can actually see the preview. My links are blue. It means they're live. Okay, so that is correct. Looks good. And I would hit save. And then I'd exit. I don't, I'm not, uh, quit without saving because this isn't real, just for demo, right? Here are my other books. Okay, so there we've got it. Now you can say, uh, save as, save to disk. There it is, save to disk, and you save it down onto your computer, the EPUB file, and it's amazing. And that's all you need to do. Uh, but that, folks, I gotta tell you, that took me quite a while to figure out, so I hope that that's helpful. Here we go. So you have your manuscript, and you saved it in Word, there you have it. I hope you found that helpful, but I would be remiss if I didn't tell you about the other resources I have on my website for self-publishing. So I've got this free checklist. It's uh, all you need to do for publishing preparation, your book launch, and then after book launch as well. And this is super important because when I went to publish my first book, you had to do all of these things, and I didn't realize that the order in which you do them is critical. So the checklist gives you the order and what to do, everything you need to do for pre-pub, book launch, and post-launch. So go, it's free on my website, head on over. It's Corinne with one R and two N's, uh, CorinneCavanaugh.com. Um, and then if you like the free checklist, that's great. But if you want another course like this and appreciate my teaching style that sort of punches right to the point, um, <clears throat> I really want to encourage you to take a look at my full course. It's called the Self-Publishing Essential Knowledge Course. These are some of the learning outcomes you see on the screen. 
But either way, I want you to know I am here for you and really encourage you to use these resources I've made. Finally, I have to share, if you do end up enrolling in my course, it, I actually give you my 10 week self-publishing planner. It's a waterfall. This is how I was able to publish three books in 12 months uh, by doing one hour a day. Often it was before work, before I went to work. Um, so there's that. And then if you sign up, you get these time-saving guides. So the publishing planner, but also a book review authorities PDF. So this says, who the book review the third authorities are with links to like go there and apply same with literary reviews and prestigious lit awards because who doesn't want to win a book award okay so i've got lots of resources on my website hope you check them out hope you enjoyed this video take care Finally, I have to share, if you do end up enrolling in my course, it, I actually give you my 10-week self-publishing planner. It's a waterfall. This is how I was...